Hey, what's up YouTube? BJ Dell back with another Procreate tutorial. Today's tutorial is a little bit different. We'll be talking about adding distressed textures to either your text or your designs using Procreate. Uh, we're going to be talking about three simple ways to do it. The first one is using a layer mask and the paintbrush tool. Second one is using the layer mask and then importing a PNG or ping texture file. And then the third one is using the previously covered selection and inverse selection tools along with importing the PNG or ping texture file. So let's go ahead and hop on into it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, if you haven't watched the two previous videos, the uh, Procreate Basics for Beginners or uh, the selection, inverse selection tool video. You might want to start with those. I'm going to be covering some stuff in this video that was covered in those, and I'm not going to go into detail since it's already been covered. So you might want to go back and watch those first. But I'll just go ahead and start out. And I already pre made some text to use for this. So let's go ahead and insert a photo and distressed vintage text. So I'm just going to go ahead and resize this a little bit so we fill up the canvas here. Of course, I'm already working on the uh, 4,500 by 5,400 canvas. So, all right, we've got our distressed vintage text here. So the first thing that we do, insert our text. Next thing we're gonna do is go up here to the layers menu with the two squares. We'll hit that. And then uh, what we're gonna do is click this layer this brings up the extended layer menu and we're going to hit mask. Now what this does, this creates a layer mask that's associated with that text layer that we just created. Now, next thing we're going to do is go to our brushes menu. Um, for this, it's a little bit of trial and error. Uh, I'm going to use the burnt tree brush that's under the charcoals menu. Uh, this one seems to work pretty good, but there's other ones that will work. Plus you can download more from the, the procreate forums. So just kind of, like I said, trial by trial and error, um, we'll use this one. Now what this is going to do is it masks this text that we have. So anything that we do in this text area, it's going to basically remove it from the text as long as our color wheel has to be on black. So anywhere we use the brush, it's going to remove from the selected layer. So you can just kind of start throwing down some textures here and you can see just by kind of blotching it on it is going to give us this nice distressed texture and then if we turn this background to white it'll kind of show you so as you can see nice distressed texture on there um, and then whenever we change the background color that part that's missing is going to show that background color through it. So you can do this for text. You can do it for designs. Uh, you can do it on t-shirt designs. You can do it just in regular, uh, you know, artboards um, to give that look to, to certain areas. So that's one option by using the brush. Let's go ahead and delete uh, what we did here. Delete this layer mask. And I'm going to go ahead and make a, another layer mask here. Now, on this, instead of using the brush, we're actually going to import a texture uh, that's a PNG or ping file. Um, with this, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, Shutterstock actually has a pack of 50 free uh, textures that's free to use. Um, the only kind of uh, tidbit on there that you can't do is you can't distribute them, redistribute them as your own, and you cannot sell them. Uh, so they are free to use, free to use for commercial, just don't put them out there um, as your own and do not sell them. So I'll put a link to that in the description. But when you download those, you're gonna make sure that you have those in your files on your iPad. Uh, once again, uh, as discussed in the previous videos, PNGs not gonna save right if you save them to your um, camera roll or your photos. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to insert a file. I've got these actually saved to drive. And let's go ahead and insert, I'll just pick this one, number nine. 
And as you can see, as soon as we insert that, it basically automatically removes any of that texture from that PNG or ping file from our text design. So if we change this background color, you're going to see it change. And anything uh, that's on the background there, if it's a t-shirt, you know, the t-shirt color is actually going to show through that text. So pretty cool. Um, so this I'll show you here. Using the insert file like that with a layer mask is good on textures that are kind of spread out. So you can see uh, deleted layer mask. Now you can see the full texture. So you can see there's a lot more of background in this than there is of the texture. So um, since there's a lot of white on here, it works good with using the layer mask. Now there's times when you will find a pretty awesome texture and it will be super dark and cover most of the background. Uh, and that's what this is going to do. So you can see here, super, super dark. Um, let's, even though we're not going to use it, let's go ahead and put a layer mask on this and I'll bring this file back in to show you what it's going to look like if you bring in something that filled in. So see, since there's so much black, it pretty much removes your entire text design. You cannot see at all what that says. So this is uh, a case you would not want to use that layer mask. So let's go ahead and put that texture back in here. So as covered in the previous video with the uh, selection, inverse selection, that's what we're going to use here. So we're going to go to our layers menu. We're going to select this text. So this is basically selecting all that black. And then we want to invert the selection, which is down here. So click that twice. And this is going to select everything that's outside of that text. And then we're going to go back up to that super blotchy black texture we started with, and we're going to hit clear. You'll see what that does is it removes everything that's outside of that text. Now, it doesn't look like it did anything right now because we still have that initial text layer behind there. So let's go ahead and clear that out. And then boom, you see that it's actually showing through that texture there. So if we change the background color, you can see how that changes. This one's nice because it's, you know, kind of sparse. It looked super, super thick when we first put it in, but we were actually using the white part or the, uh, the missing part of it uh, to make this texture. So there you go. Three different ways that you can use to create distressed vintage text in Procreate. All right, guys, that's it for today and how to add distressed textures to your designs. Hopefully you can come up with some pretty awesome looking stuff from this. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I'll be posting new videos all the time. Also in the comments, let me know what you want to see in upcoming videos. Let me know uh, how you're using this tutorial and, and how it's affected your designs. As for me, it can be found online on Twitter and Instagram at BJ Dell. Also my website, BJDell.com. So until next time, keep creating.